Our next stop is a railway station like no other. This one is such a departure, you see what I did there? From others that Hollywood sci-fi movie makers think it's centuries ahead of its time. Never mind that train trip through America's historic terminals. When you climb aboard here, there's no mistake in it. You're setting out on a first-class journey into the future. A vast curving monolith of concrete, glass, and steel. An extraordinary design that Tess Warren could take off in high winds. Carved out of a hill with a history of violent landslides. This is Liège Guilleman Station in Belgium. So, how did they build it? They turned to an architect whose track record includes the World Trade Center Transportation Hub in New York and Valencia's City of Arts and Sciences in Spain, Santiago Calatrava. His vision is extraordinary. The station will be moved 300 feet down the line with a footbridge crossing over it to provide that vital link between both parts of the city. In classic Calatrava fashion, his trademark concrete curves will wrap around five new platforms, up to 1,500 feet long, which can take the high-speed trains. To top it all off, an incredible glass and steel arch will tower 100 feet high, stretching 600 feet across the tracks. It will have to be built while the trains carry on running. On normal builds, they'd crane the vast sections of steel into position. But here, that just isn't possible. So the team comes up with what they hope will be a solution to building the roof with its 39 vast steel arches. A scaffolding tower will be built in front of the old station, next to the tracks. Here the arches are welded together five at a time. As each section's added, the roof's pushed along a supersized conveyor belt across the tracks by giant hydraulic jacks. It slides on huge Teflon pads mounted on iron girders until it reaches its final resting place. The first section of arches is built. Now it has to be slid across the tracks. It's a tense moment as the jacks are engaged ready to move it in tiny 11-inch steps. It takes a day and a half to move these first five arches. There are 34 left to go. Over the next week, the sections are added one at a time until the whole roof is complete. Then, slowly and very carefully, the entire roof is edged into its final position. To top the amazing structure off, they build a giant canopy at either end, then install an incredible 1,300 tons of glass to glaze the entire roof. In 2009, Calatrava unveils his stunning 21st century station to the people of Liège bringing the two divided parts of the city together. It took thousands of man hours and hundreds of workers and engineers nine long years to construct. And all of that around a living, breathing railroad that never stopped. Santiago's visionary station hopes to transport Liège deep into the 21st century. <laughs>